for now. I've done the four game exercise to death, so I'm not going to put any more pressure on the, the game and my own personal enjoyment of the game. When you put targets on, it kind of does put that kind of serious pressure on where I just really want to go and enjoy the games. I only did the prediction for a bit of fun anyway, um, but because it's come out kind of high, I'm, I'm just thinking, whoa, um, that's um, a little bit too much there, dude. So I'm, I'm going to be happy with trying to go for two draws. If I get that one and a half, then that's meeting the target that, you know, we, we have set um, earlier, earlier on in the month. But other than that, the whole idea really is about going there and enjoying the games, seeing if I can keep a half decent performance and give a half decent game to the stronger players. Um, because obviously I'll be one of the lower rated players in there. Um, but I'm not focused on the ratings. I'm focused on the performance. So if I can play some ha half decent games against the higher rated players. Um, I'm going to feel really good afterwards. And I want to really use the mantra. Because we've been working the mantra for many years now. And the 59 steps to beat chess. And all those concepts are in there now. And we like to flip them on the heads and twizzle them around a little bit and really just go go into go to town on those concepts to really try and get them solidified as best possible. You don't always win because you always find somebody who's like some sort of genius and they're finding these magical moves or it might be the smallest of details in the end game that gives them that little bit of extra oomph. And that's the really the key one for me. Um the other tactical stuff, if they're blowing me out of the water with all that tactics, I'm not going to change. I'm a positional guy. So those it's very few and far between where those tactical type players will gain advantage against my positional play, which is good. That's a positive. On the other occasion, they do, and it's awesome. They just go bang, 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 and it's like, whoa, hey, what can you do? But for me, the focal point really is on the end game. The majority of my games get to a type of end game position. Yep. Um, so you've passed the opening, you've passed the mid game, queens are off the board, or even if the queens are on the board and you've only got a few pawns, then um, classing that as the end game. And it's the, that fine tuning of the pawn structure and knowing what to do, when to move the pawns, when to place them in the correct positions. And that's that moment where it's like, played the waiting move yeah it's it's knowing that moment when to play those waiting moves and it's really about genuinely stopping looking and listening to what the board is actually saying to you and what your pieces are actually saying to you and from there then you can make more appropriate moves that's something i've got to learn i've i've, I've got to really put it into my mental roller bit roller decks and in my in my psychology um, in the back back of my brain, the subconscious, because when I do get these types of positions in the end games, I kind of lose the thread, and then afterwards I, I see it straight away. I want to be able to see it straight away in the game. So that's how I'm going to enjoy my games going forward. So we've done the um, sessions for the four game challenges. Don't need to do any more now. Just going to play games and just. Just play for the fun of it and see how we are in trying to improve if anything or try and find weaknesses that we can iron out and i think we've really done to death up to up to the point of the last over the board type games the analysis of what we need to work on so i don't i'm not looking at working on anything else let's just work on what we need to work on and continue going through these games as just enjoyable games that's it for now 10 and 5 let's attack the palm let's attack in the center capture with the knife attack A flicking going on looks like they may be leaving the game uh tempting to go straight here but that loses us on so let's 
stay here and go simple. See what the bishop wants. Well, it's not wanting to exchange, so they're looking for some sort of cheap action. Oh, we're going castle. Let's castle. Get this sighted here. Take, but we've got the bishop supporting. Going to hit the queen anyway. Queen's going to take the pawn here, greedy munching. Part of the cleverness that they're thinking they've been. So let's just bring the knight here. Taking their queen to the other side of the board. They're probably looking to queenside castle. They're attacking our piece. We're going to attack their higher piece with the knight. Something to think about. And the queen has moved. The knight is protected by the bishop. So bring the bishop here, harassing the queen, preventing them de um, developing their other pieces. Hopefully making them lose tempo in terms of managing the board. So they've taken because it looks like the queen was kind of trapped. Take a move back. So it can't go here, it can't go there. It can't go here, it can't go there. Can't go here, can't go there, can't go here, can't go there. So it's kind of trapped. Too much movements with the queen. So they're still playing on. So we need to box clever now. So we need to just find those better positions. Let's just bring the knight into the fold, give the king some company. They're still playing on. Right, so we can take this pawn. It does look like it's for free. Got a nice position here with a fork on the king and the rook. Looks like they're giving us that, so we'll go for that opportunity. We will take. The pause is a take back, but it's probably a take back to the beginning of the game. Okay, and they've resigned. Not a very strong game again, but you know, you, you find this actually in the account as well when we're in. Um, there's some good games, there's some bad games. That mix us, I'm going to have to live with because over the board you do find a mix of good and bad um probably not as bad as some of these online games okay 10 and 5 let's um go the center here see what we've got in store today looking for a bit of stronger play from the opponents not too strong you know don't you know just as we've said before need to get the practice in for playing players of my skill level or just slightly better to give me something to think about but not blowing out of the water type better and to attack the pawn take take Develop the bishop, make space for castling. Castle. Skip out. Take. The bishop. Just getting the team out. Just put the rook on the open file.
And is it dangerous? I think it still is a Spassky, isn't it? We take and they can just drop the pawn. It does block the bishop. The knight's protecting. We try and double. Give the bishop some space just in case there's any funky business. It can come and attack what the bishop can take. It can take. Let's double. Give some space to protect with the rook. Okay. And we can take, but they can just dip. if we took in the drop. The rook that comes, isn't it? If the rook did move, we'd be able to take the knight. I think we can do it if they do drop because it's the rook that's going to have to come and attack the bishop or maybe the bishop attacks but we can take the bishop off the board in this scenario be able to take the knight okay they're not doing that so it's going to be a rook exchange do we move the bishop out of the way first and attack the rook he is hitting us a few times so let's take this knight Let's attack the rook. Okay, see if we keep owning the file. Obviously, he's going to come and attack him. He's not doing that. He's wanting to. But let's attack the rook again. Although we might lose the bishop this time. Stupid. Oh, you know, if they'd have taken then. That would have been so wrong for us because if we take, then the bishop would have just taken. Oh, I'm not a fan of that. Let's take. That was a bad move, I think, from us. We'll have to have a look at the analysis, but I think that was not a good move. Yet again. And let's take. So what's the scores on the doors? we just got a rook up. Doesn't mean we've won the game. They're still playing on. Knight looking to go. It's got a dark square bishop can put a check on us. Let's just push this pawn. Trying to stop the knight jump. Oh, it's um preempted that already. Do we get the knight to a different position? We just push, but it's on a dark square. That's where Bishop can attack it. And the knight has moved. Do we continue supporting because this, this pawn's going to get hit? And if it drops, then we do, do we hit the pawn? Then oof. the pawn it takes, takes, and then this pawn is by itself. Time's running down. Cross. Doing with this knight. Hmm. Just push while we're thinking. At least the pawn's protected. Dancing with this knight. He's seen something with this knight, aren't he? Just moving this. He's looking to charge around here. I think we need to move this knight. Let's just move the knight.
going for lockdown type um, situation. Probably looking for a draw or some sort. Let's get these elevated a little bit. Push, push. Yep, so it's just locking everything down. But we do have movement with the night. Sink in here, then obviously there'll be a trade of some sort. The night. Spots for a check on the king, get this pawn off. Continue with this type thing if the king moves back. Fancy dancing if the king moves back, but the bishop can take, so we can't do that. I was just thinking there we could go here and attack the bishop, but the bishop take the knight. Would come back this way to come here to attack the bishop twice. Knight has moved. So we were going here to get this pawn off. Not got a fork on us. Comes down, attacks the pawn. No, I think that's okay. Go with this. King is down, does the picture look any different? Nope, let's take that tower knight in. So now he's blocking the rook altogether. Sights of putting a check on the king. We can come here, are we? No, we've got a safe spot here. Well, it's not safe, safe. The knight can take it, the pawn can take it, and the king takes. So we go here, the king comes attack it straightforward like that but then it doesn't want to get a check on so probably goes up probably goes up and it stops the knight from checking here stops it from there can come here pawn will be safe for a split second bishop will be on back okay let's that's what I'm doing, isn't it? Yes. Put a check on. Move totally out of the way. So we could attack their... Um, oh, but that's the thing we really wanted. The bishop, didn't we? But they've moved over. So shall we start pushing? Pawns want to be pushed. Got the check on the king. Hmm. Right. Oh, worked his knight all the way around the board. Don't want to give them a fork. He comes there. So maybe he jumps here to stop the knight from going any further. It does give us that opportunity to attack their bishop twice. Let's move here. We're thinking they're going here. Yep. That gives us that opportunity to do this, but he can take our pawn and protect the bishop. If we pushed on here to protect for now, let's see how that looks. Oh no, the pawn can take with a check on the king. Ooh. Not the way we wanted this working, is it? So push and he takes the pawn. If he takes the pawn, then we can keep pushing the pawn. Or oh, in fact, we can just keep pushing, get the knight out of the way, then come and attack the bishop. 
sort of distraction pawn. They stay in there. Would put here and put a check on the king. Gives us that tempo to get this pawn. Now it would be protecting this pawn. Yes. Let's put the check on the king. Take. What we take with the rook. We take with the rook. The knight takes the pawn. Is on the rook. Rook comes up to attack. King. King comes down for the pawn. Push the pawn up. Right. Can't go here because the king would, it would come back around again. And push, can't we? Bet you are missing something. Gonna take with the rook and follow that calculation to Okay, so they do take and we put the check on, so they drop. Oh, they haven't dropped there, but can uh, push the pawn. The knight got a fork. I, I can't see it from the calc. So push. Jumps here. Gets, oh, he does get a fork. It's not doing that. Though. Okay. So. Yeah, I'm going to replay this one and have a look at some of these little points that... Oh, was it in the last game I was supposed to do a... Oh, no. Never mind. All right, so we can bring the rook here, x ray through to the king. But the knight can't move. Take. Nice, nice, nice. Anyway, let's anal analysis. Was it this game where we had to see, or was it the... Tick, 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 tick. Oh no, this was pretty simple. I think it was the previous game I forgot to do an analysis on the position. Oh no, it was this question, wasn't it, about taking the pawn? Then they come down with the right. Back in the rook. Looking fairly favourable. Oh, that part, that part. Yeah, that was it. That was the one, wasn't it? Where I says, wow, that was wrong. That was totally wrong. Because all they need to do is take here. And then we lose the bishop. If, even if we take with the pawn or the rook. Then the bishop just takes. So yeah, that was, re that was wrong. Moving too swiftly. In my head with the calculation thinking, oh yeah, I've got an x ray through to his bishop. But that was totally wrong. Yeah, not happy with that. Not happy with that at all. So the letter's off, obviously. And just bouncing just to see. Pushing the pawn, putting the check on, capturing. Yeah, so it doesn't have an issue with any of that. Then we went and attacked, pushed, and they took. But what did I say? I thought, I thought they were. Oh, yeah, the fork. Fork with the knight. I thought maybe they were going to do this, but it doesn't make a difference, does it? it? Doesn't make a difference. Now this is saying it h four with a check. Yep, if we'd have just pushed the pawn, got a queen, then obviously he takes there. I don't think it's going to be much of a difference really, is it? We can come here, but he gets the knight. Put the check on. No, oh, it wouldn't have been so bad either way. No problem. 10 and 5. Attack the pawn. Attack the centre. Get the pawn. Ooh. 
long pause. Tuck the night. Just attacking the queen. Smaller piece attacking a higher piece, or shall we go for the exchange, seeing as we're plus two? Let's attack the bishop. Take. Oh, he's probably going to take the knight. I don't see why we should give the knight up. Let's attack the bishop. Not attacking anything really. We could just take the bishop off the board. Keep the knight or the bishop. So let's take. Let's take. Attack the bishop. Take the bishop. Attacking the pawn. Could defend the pawn, but it's not going to last very long. Because the rooks come. Attack. Oh, no. Okay. Well, they're attacking now. I'll check on our king. Not getting castled. Okay, losing his sleep over it. Let's bring the get the rook here. Knights protecting, kings protecting. Let's attack. That's an interesting one. This rook comes here with a check. Gets a pawn off. Or one of these pawns, whichever. Maybe this pawn. Okay, pretty smooth. Ten and five. Let's see what we've got. Let's capture. Let's attack the queen. The knight out. Let's open the dark square bishop. Let's attack there, bishop. Let's capture. We attack there, knight. Let's capture. Or Let's attack there, knight. I'm going to take the knight off the board, you know. Shall we castle? I'm going to castle on the queen side. Let's 
Let's get the knight up, baiting a pawn. Interesting situation, it's not interested in the pawn, but not in the knight, sorry. The king, let's push the pawn towards the king. Gonna want to come off with the back somewhere. Maybe coming to attack the pawn. No, oh, he's going for a trade. Queen's got no protection. Going for the pawn this way if we don't take, so we may as well take. And we've got one of the rooks. Fork. Let's take it. Okay, position, position. Because really there's no open files, is there? So we have to create a type of situation Bishops, Bishop can attack the Rook Let's attack the Bishop and the Pawn in the rook no oh that was nice square that was a nice shot didn't see that I'm a bit mad now let's hit the bishop Could be bad if we take his rook comes down and gets our rook. This could be bad. That happened with it in a flash, didn't it? Oof. Gosh, they're um, eating us alive. Very painful. Not all the pawns, it's still even Stevens, but well, in the scoring. But look, all these pawns that way. To contend with this, not going to board well, is it? Oh gosh, this is not good. This is not good. How did this happen? Pawns. This is this is bad news. Bad news. We have to sack sack one of the rooks out. Oh my gosh! Look at that.
second increment as well. But oh, now they're starting to flick. No need, people, there's no need. The chew was up. Oh, look at this. The chew was up. Oh. I wasn't expecting the move order to be done like that. Like they've got magic in their fingertips. They've resigned. A quick look at that. I think it was. I didn't. This three pawns was winning. Yeah, exactly. There. I didn't expect what they did. That's not the right. That's not the move. I thought they were going to be pushing this pawn. Saying d3 into. Yeah, d3 check. That's the one. They're just eating us alive. Take say no we should F six with the check. Suppose we can come around here but I'm gonna get the rook off the board. Or free as well. Ugly game. <laughs> 